Beach Boys, be true to your school. Remember this one? Whoa, 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 hold on. Where did it go? I was just looking at it. Huh. Andrew Carey. That's who did it. Hold on a second. Okay, so. I had to use the restroom. No, just kidding. So let's do this. You want to tune standard on this one? And here's what you got. Starts in A major. Actually, I'll save the talking for when I start teaching it. Here we go. Basically the intro there. And then the next part will be... What's up guys? So how are you? How are you doing? Good, I hope. Okay, if you don't know your bar chords, then um, go to another lesson. Just kidding. Because this is all bars. You're going to um, cover the fifth fret, all five, or all six strings on the fifth fret. This is an A major bar. You're going to go 7A, 7D, 6G. And I always suggest this um, highly when you're if you're somewhat new to bar chords and you're not sure if the notes are going to be clear is to individually check each string of the chord okay so if that's not an issue and you know it's clear then just go for it I'm just giving you some pointers as far as how to uh, group it together so we're gonna strum it the next chord is um, F sharp minor which is basically this chord a step and a half flat, so bar the second fret, and then you go 4A, 4D, and we don't need the middle finger at all. And remember what I said on the A major, you know, attack this one the same way individually if you need to. Okay, so strum all six. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have A major, F sharp minor. The next one is B minor, and I'll check this out. It's the exact same shape as what I'm doing right here, but uh, my bar is going to be across fret seven. So I'm going to go up here to my third dot, bar it, go 9A, 9D, and we're going to strum that one. And then the next one is similar to the first chord we did, the A major, and that would be barring the 10th fret, but it's a D major bar chord. Bar the 10th fret, go 12A, 12D, 11G, and strum that. And then this is a half note, it just gets a two count. You'll go one, two, and then move it a whole step sharp. The exact same chord moved up to barred 12th fret. And this is an E major. So uh, 14A, 14D, 13G. Talk about cramming, man. Bar chords up here can be tricky. And then you go back to the A major. So act as if you're starting over, but it's just the first three chords the A, F sharp minor, and B minor. Okay, then we go to F sharp minor, and then B minor, and just let it ring. And the guitar cuts out for, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Now we're going to go back to the start chord, the A major, um, but the, it's, this is a complete different section, the strumming's different and everything. It reminds me of round, round, get around, you know, it's that whole vocal melody put onto the strum. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. That's your strum pattern. Piece it together if you need to. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And then slide that whole shape up to, uh, we have B, C, this is a C sharp major. We're going to slide it up to the ninth fret and go 11, 11, 10 on the A, D, and G. Same shape. Um, so you'll have down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. So, so far it's and 
And then big jump here. We're going to F sharp minor. We did this in the intro. Bar the second fret on everything. All six strings. And then 4A, 4D. Same strum. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down. And then we're jumping way back up here. This is called a D7 bar chord. You bar the 10th fret on everything. Go 12A and 11G. And this time they split the strum pattern up between two chords. And they're both 7th chords. It's a D7 and a B7. So we have down, 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 up, down. And then move it to the 7th fret for your bar. 9A, 8G. And go down, up, down, up, up, down. So from the D7 bar it sounds like this. And then drop your pinky to 9D. Leave everything else there. So now it's a B major instead of a B7. Down, 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 up, down, up, or down, 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 up, down. And then we're going to move up to the 12th fret to bar. Go 14A, 13G, and it's the E7. So see how we're splitting the strum again? Down, 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 up, down. And then up here we go down, up, down, up, up, down. Okay, so um, it's a little difficult. Um, I've got a really good ear to like figure out stuff um, for lots of reasons, but it comes in handy, obviously, for teaching. Um, but while listening to the chords, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a seventh and a major in this mix, the studio version of how the Beach Boys did this. So, um, so like the end chord, that E7, there's a possibility that's just an E major, but they, they're so similar, you can substitute them together and, and um, it won't sound bad at all. So anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, thanks for the request. I like the Beach Boys. It takes me back to before I played guitar. I remember listening to them. Um, good music. If you have questions, though, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to both channels, guys. YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1 and Rocking Guitar Lessons 2. And once you do that, go ahead and send me your requests. Um, I'll put it down in my 25-page notebook. Eventually, I'll get to it. Um, I try if it's a new subscriber. I, I Try to you know get your request before maybe someone that has requested already. Um, this channel is about you guys. Um, it wouldn't be here without you. I mean it could, but I would just be picking all the songs. And um, this is interactive, man. So it's getting you guys involved. Um, also, if you're interested in private lessons via Skype, my email is rockandguitarlessons at hotmail.com, or you can reach me at mike at rockandguitarlessons.com for guitar or bass. For vocals, my wife Jolene. You can contact her, Jolene at rockandguitarlessons.com or rockandguitarlessons at hotmail.com too many emails huh um, $59 an hour 34 for a half an hour and if you pay for the month you get a little discount um, private one-on-one -on -one really is the best route to go if it fits your budget we can work on anything that you want to work on if you're not sure I'll know this is what I do I didn't just wake up 14 months ago and go ah, I think I'm gonna teach I've been doing it you know since 1992 it's one of the things that I'm good at. I'm not good at fixing my cars and all that good stuff. But I can teach and get your plane to the next level. Hit me up if you're interested. My PayPal email, tbxpunk at AOL.com if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. And if you can't, there's no pressure. Um, just keep coming. You know, you can take these videos, spread them on your Facebook wall, and just tell people that you know, you know, that, that want to learn songs and, and get them the accurate way. Send them my way if you don't mind. And, um... I think that's everything. RockingGuitarLessons.com. I didn't mention that. That's the biggest of them all. Um, it's coming soon. Be watching for it. By the time you watch this, the landing page is probably already going to be up. Um, we'll see. But uh, it, I do guarantee you it's coming really, really soon. So, um, Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you at the next lesson. Yeah? Sound good? Okay. Here we go. That's the A major, F sharp minor, B minor, D major to E major, back to A major, F sharp minor, B minor, and that's the one that just rings out, and then the next rhythm comes in, but I may change my pickups, yeah I will. <laughs>